What's up guys, Boombox G is here, so today I am doing another video on POS Ready Embedded 2009, oh, Windows. <laughs> um, as you can see, we're back here, um, so I have a different idea. I was watching back my video, just posted it by the way, um, and I was looking, and I saw that there was an option to install on a different partition, so I'm thinking I could boot XP and POS Ready and that's how people did it back in the day because they would um they would um they would install POS ready on one partition then install XP no XP's already installed then they install POS ready then just copy their files over to the other partition in the users folder I think that's what they would do anyway I want to see if POS Ready uh, messes up and screws with this XP install. So, oops, <laughs> just dragged the window. Okay, I don't think it will, but I just want to test to make sure it doesn't, because that would be pretty not good for the test we're doing. Anyway, I need to go input devices actually. Here, POS09. And I also notice, I will test this in another video, if I go to setup, and to detect, yeah, that doesn't do anything. This just doesn't work. But if I go to this one, gives us a different message and says, couldn't run on this version of Windows. So I think I'll try installing it on NT 4.0 in a different video. That might work, I'm not sure, we'll try that. Anyway, so I inserted the disk, Let's turn off the computer, or actually restart the computer, sorry. And uh, yeah. You gotta love that XP sound. You gotta. So perfect. Alright. Here it goes. Boot from CD. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Starting environment. And it says XP, but it's not booting the XP. Hopefully, it's not. It better not be. Alright, it's not. Alright, and I'll stop the video here until you know I get to a point I'm not gonna sh un until I get to the point where I get to do the hard drive stuff because it's boring until then all right I'm back here at this point I put in the product key I think the next one yep is here all right so see that's the five gigabyte XP partition and I left the unpartitioned space so I made it five gigabyte and then I have this five gigabyte because VMware or uh, VirtualBox makes it uh, only 10 gigs, so I split it into five. I guess create partition here. That would be right. So now we have partition two, and we can go with partition two. That is pretty cool, and we'll name it POS Ready 09. All right. There we go, and I don't want it to be drive C, I want it to be drive E. There we go, perform a quick format, yep. Uh, enable, no. All right, VOM cannot contain character. Dang it. Ugh, all right. I'm just, okay, there. All right, so now it should format the drive quickly. Yep, um, I guess it'll just install now, right? Wait. I don't care about the date and time, honestly. Typical. One three. I. It doesn't matter to me. Um, custom. Oh yeah, yeah. I want. I actually want to do custom. I want to see the options I have. Here we go. You need to have framework accessories. Let's see the accessories. Utilities. Let's install everything. You know what? Let's. Yeah, sure. Everything. 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 Everything, everything, everything. So it's just like XP. <laughs> so it's just all like XP. Windows Media? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I know. Actually, you know what? Let's undo all this. Because I know. Stop it. Undo. I know that. Um, oh, additional drivers. I might want that. Um, if I install on a real computer, I, obviously, I'm not doing that. So I don't really need that. So click that. Um, but. I will be doing a video, by the way, um, installing this on a real computer. Anyway, it doesn't come with Windows Media Player, so let's check that. 
because remember last episode we were trying to get one and it didn't really work. So if you're installing POS, you kind of want to check that. Just saying. Now I can go next. Yeah, that's that's great. I'd, I'm fine with that. Computer name. Uh, POS 09. Oh, 08. Sure, whatever. 08. Alright, uh, oh, you need to create a password. Alright. Hello. Hello. Isn't that entertaining, guys, watching me type hello? Uh, uh, how about just work? Wait. There. Uh, worko, fine. <laughs> and that's all my info that I chose. Now, you, I'll stop the camera because you don't need to see any of this. Alright, guys, it's set up. I am laughing because I've been waiting for a while. I started this video at 8.30, and now it is 9, and um, it was sitting on that first boot agent thing again for uh, a while, and then the second it hit 9, it uh, showed this log on the windows. Anyway, um, so we need to type in Okay, it's beeping at me. Stop. Administrator. And I don't. Oh, I do have a password. Ah, I'm typing it wrong. All right, we're in. Um. Anyway. So. Oh, it's loading first. All right. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I. I, I basically I stood away from the computer for a while. Oh. Oh, I was just about to say. Wait, I was looking. Where's Media Player? It installed. So yes, it does install. Go away. Media Player. Let me do it. Boom. Nice. Alright. So now you have a Media Player. Anyway. I'm pretty sure I saw when it was restarting. I, w I was trying not to look, but I think I saw the option. So let's restart. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Whatever. Uh, shutting down. Let's see. I want to see how crazy we can make this. If we can install, like, other operating systems on this same thing. It is only 10 gigs, though. I wonder if I can make it bigger. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's see. Windows are shutting down. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, that worked. You just say hurry up, and it hurries up. Okay, we can remove the CD. Yeah, look, 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 look. It's fine. Look at this. See? We have the option now. We have embedded POS ready or XP. So let's go back to XP. They have the same boot. So honestly, it could be booting to POS right now, and I would not know. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it is. Come on. Hurry up. There we go. Yeah. All right. It worked. Nice. Everything's here. Yep. Everything's in the trash that I put in there. We'll start menu. Yep. All right, wow. So that's pr and then if you go to Windows E, make it small. Oh my God, all the messages are the same. Go away. Oh my gosh, this is so slow. Ugh. Why is it so slow? Anyway, but now look, yeah, there you go. You got POS ready here, and you could probably go to. Oh my goodness, why is it so slow? Documents and settings. Admin all users. I bet I could. Can I copy it? Oh, I can't copy it. Okay. But I, I, I bet they just like opened up this and copied all the files over, which would take a long time. But you know what? I guess it's worth it if you got like five more years. Yeah, I guess five more years of support. I guess it would be worth it. Anyway, that is this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, wait. Bye, guys.